Hey guys, it's Jessica and today we sound a little bit echoey because we are in my bathroom. And today I'm going to give you kind of an, a general bathroom tour. I'm going to show you how I organize all of the different areas of my bathroom, what I've got. I finally feel like I'm in a good space with this bathroom where everything I have in here I'm using. Whereas a few months ago I did a declutter and that was kind of a massive declutter in here because I had stuff in here for years that I've been storing, especially under my sink. I feel like that becomes a black hole for so many of us. And so it felt great to purge that. I have so much less and I feel like the things that I do have, I'm actually using. So I'm excited to share all this with you guys. If you do want to see that declutter and organization video, I will link it below. I've also done a linen closet organiz organization declutter video and a what's in my shower video. I've done a lot in this bathroom. So I'll link all of those below if you're interested in seeing more of those areas. This video is sponsored by the brand Lola, which we'll be talking about in just a few minutes. So let's dive in closer, shall we? So as a general overview, this area is my area. And then right next to it is Tyler's, you'll see in a bit. And then over here, we've got like my perfumes and Tyler's colognes. He has like two and I have like 80 perfumes. Um, let me know if you'd like a perfume collection video. I'd love to do that for you guys, but not today. That's gonna take up way too much time if we do. Um, but then over here, you see a bunch of doors. Right here's my linen closet. There is our like toilet room, or as Tyler calls it, the toilet room. That makes me laugh every time. <laughs> uh, and then our closet. Again, I'm not gonna show the closet today. It is a mess. We just got back from traveling and we're still working through laundry and like, oh my gosh, it's so messy. I'm just like, shut the door, I'll deal with it later tonight. But other than like my coffee and water over here, this is our bathroom. So like I said, this is my side, that's Tyler's side. We kind of share some of the middle spaces. Um, he's been very gracious to, over the past few years we've lived here, Tyler's like, you know what? I'm really not using that area. Why don't you just use it? I'm like, tight, tight. I use a lot of the middle areas. Um, but yeah, let's get a little bit closer. Let me, I'm like double fisted here. And then by the way, behind where our vanities are, this is our shower, like I said, and then we have like our little hamper right there where we keep all of our towels when they're dirty. So I figure we'll start on my side. So up above here, I've got like my hand soap, obviously. This is from the brand called Drea. It's their sweet pea hand soap. I adore this soap. It smells I, let me rephrase. I adore this brand. I really like their room sprays. Their hand soaps have been really nice. It's a more natural brand that I buy on Grove Collaborative's website, which I love. I know that I have a referral. If you're interested, I have a link below, but you don't have to go through my link, but I really like this brand. It's one of my favorites. So I had this candle here lit, um, but I usually have it over on the other side, actually. Um, anyway, it smells really good. So I got this tray at Target and it's kind of like this heavy marble and in it I've got some of my skincare. I have a lot more in here. You'll see in a second um, But honestly, I just kind of pulled out the ones I liked the way they looked um, I can't explain it other than that. So but I am using all of these This is the DHC deep cleansing oil. I'm almost done with it really feels like you're getting your makeup off with olive oil I don't hate it, but it's I don't love it. It's kind of, you know, it really does. It's a lot of it smells like olive oil um, but I really like this Paula's Choice Omega Moisturizer, the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. I like, but I have a dupe I'm gonna show you uh, in a minute that I'm also using. The Clarins Double Serum, I'm just now starting to use. The Sunday Riley Good Jeans is almost gone. I really do like that. And then the C&D Solar Oil Cuticle Oil, which I put here so that I see it and I use it. <laughs> so I also have my, the towels we have in here, we used to have white, but I recently switched to this beautiful green. Um, I bought them at Target in a recent like cute stuff at Target video. So I can link the exact ones below, but I loved the shade of this and it's a good towel too. And then this also, the house actually, when we moved in, it had this close up mirror. And I feel like this is one of those ways you can really upgrade your bathroom. You can buy these at different like Home Depot type stores. I know you can buy them online and you can just install them yourself. You screw them into the wall and it just makes you feel like you're staying at a nice hotel. It makes it easier to get ready if you get ready in your bathroom. I, I got ready in here today um, with my little caboodle, but uh, yeah, it's just, it's such a nice little thing that you know, you can, they're not crazy expensive to get and you can have it in your bathroom and it feels very like, Luxurious. Is it weird that I'm drinking coffee like in the bathroom? I feel like it's not that weird because I like drink coffee in here when I'm getting ready, you know? But it also still kind of feels weird now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well. So let's talk about these. These two drawers are probably my most used drawers. They have like my everyday stuff in them, so let's get closer. I've really gotten better about keeping things close that I use constantly and really being smart about, you know, if I'm constantly annoyed when I have to pull this one item out every night, then I need to move it to a place where it's easier to get to. So I've got my contact stuff right here. I use the clear care kind of system, but I have these as well that I sometimes use. Um, some contact lens, re-wetting drops, my beauty sponge, 
some lip products I love, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm almost done with this Nooni Water Blending Lip Mask. I love this as well. My Dermalogica lip treatment that I love. I'm trying out the number seven lash serum. And then I've got some makeup brushes and hair stuff. So I've got like my hair ties and I've got some bobby pins and my little like headbands I like to use. Um, yeah, so I keep all of that close at hand. I did get rid of a lot of this stuff if you saw that video, so it's nice to just have what I need. And then here in this drawer, we've got my like true blue I use every day, toothpaste and my Quip toothbrush, yes, I still use. And I have my little Steripod that helps kind of dry out the bristles. Um, and it kind of just protects them so they don't get all wonky. Got my like daily vitamins, things I have to take for like a genetic thing I have. Um, so I don't forget, I see that every night when I'm doing my skincare routine and I remember to take it. The deodorant I'm using, the Old Spice Wolf Thorn. This is one that's just the deodorant portion, it's not the antiperspirant, so it doesn't have a lot of the um, ingredients that I don't love to use in it. I, again, I'm not well versed, make your own decisions. I'm not, I mean, people get crazy about deodorant, just chill out. <laughs> um, underarm deodorant wipes, I love this. I have a backup you'll see in a minute of these. They're just great to refresh your underarms throughout the day. Dry brush, I don't, I haven't really used in a long time, honestly, I've got some floss and then a little like toothbrush or toothpaste squeezer. So down here is the area that was really problematic for me when I was first doing that like organization declutter. It would, I had so much stuff just hiding under here in the corners. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. Um, it's so much emptier. Like this is it, that's it. I love that and I use everything you see under here. So diving in, I've just got like my heat tools back here. I've got my blow dryer here um, with my diffuser. This is what I use to help with my natural hair, although today is second day hair and it was air dried. But anyway, uh, I do love that. Any hair dryer, you don't have to get this exact one. This is a GHD and it's kind of pricey. Um, I do love it, but you can use any blow dryer with a diffuser and it does the same thing. And yes, I'm working on that video. I know a lot of you guys are asking me about how I do my hair. It's coming soon. I'm trying to think of the best ways to film it. It's gonna be a little tricky. Um, so I have some self tanning stuff back here, um, like the Vita Liberata. I've had this for a questionable amount of time, but I use it. I don't, I haven't self tanned in a long time, but when I do, I genuinely do use it. So I keep those. I've got like a towel and like mitts and stuff under there. I've got my little caboodle that I get ready with. Again, I showed you what was in here in a recent video I can link. I got ready with this today. The only thing I have swapped out is I swapped out the face product. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, which I use today. And I feel like it looks really nice on my skin. So I was like, dang, like, why am I not using this all the time? Because I remember when I first used it, I was like, meh. But I realized that applying it with your fingers, it just looks so beautiful. And I like it a lot more than that YSL one I used to have in there. But this caboodle I bought at Target. Such a cute way to store, just like quick go-to makeup. Because um, I don't get ready in here all the time. I get ready a lot, like in my little like beauty office, whatever you want to call it. But because I am a mom, <laughs> I do have to get ready quickly, often. So it's nice to have this in here. I can just... Throw it all on. Um, so then I've got like my 3D white little like mouthwash. I've got the vitamins and stuff that I'm taking um, going up there. I've got a travel hair dryer and then I've got my like extra contacts kind of out of the way. And then I have my feminine products. Okay, I gotta get up. My legs are killing me down here. Hold on. So these are the feminine products I have and this is all I have. I used to have these giant bright pink boxes and I had like pads. I had so much stuff under there and I was taking up half of the space no joke. I was contacted by this brand called Lola and I'd heard about it before, so I was like, let me do some research. So as I started digging around on their website, I found out that it was started by women. And so what I thought was cool is that you can completely customize what you get each month. So for me, when it's that time of the month, I need two different absorbencies, for example. I use tampons, so I would need like a super and a regular. And so for me, that would typically mean going to the store, getting like a big box of the super, a big box of the regular, well, with this, you can actually get whatever combination you want and get as many boxes as you want. You can get liners, different absorbencies. You can get plastic applicator tampons. You can get non-applicator tampons, which is what I have here. I love the boxes and the packaging. I feel like they're really, really sleek, well-designed. And for me, I loved that I could split this into half regular and half super tampons. What I also think was cool is that they deliver it each month if you want. You can get as many shipments as you want, as often as you want, but you can also change what you're getting at any time online. You can cancel your order at any time. It's so easy, there's no surprises, no gimmicks, and that was one thing I really appreciated. But a couple of the things that really sealed the deal for me was First of all, that a lot of the tampons I was already using have synthetic fibers, chemicals, dyes in them, and these are things that I'm literally putting into my body. 
And I like that Lola, they're 100% organic cotton. That's it, no hidden ingredients, no surprises there. But the clincher was that for every purchase made on their website, they donate feminine products to homeless shelters. And that, I get the goosebumps even saying it because I just feel like that's one of those overlooked things that, I mean, every woman needs. Every woman needs it. And it's kind of, you know, your dignity, being able to have the products you need that time of the month. I take it for granted that that's something that I can afford to buy for myself every month, but not everyone can. And so I think that is such an important thing that they're doing. I just think that the customizability of the entire thing, the um, good ethics behind the brand, and the transparency with what's actually in their product all of those things for me are what make up a good brand and that's why I wanted to support this brand and I'm really enjoying using the products. I mean, I'm not super enjoying that time of the month, but they're working really well for me. They're taking up less space for me as well and it's something that now every month I can get that shipment and I don't have to think about it. Another thing they offered that I ordered was their cleansing wipes and these are gynecologically approved to be used anywhere in your body um, and I, I've kind of realized over the years that not all wipes are created equal and not all wipes should be used everywhere, you know what I mean? So I like that I know that these are safe to use down there and it just makes you feel fresh at that time of the month. So for 40% off your subscription, all you have to do is go to mylola.com and enter my code, which is jessicab40, and you'll get 40% off when you subscribe. So I'll have all of that info down below for your reference if you need it. Thank you, Lola, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Let's keep going into the rest of my drawers. There's a lot to see still. So we're gonna move on to this kind of middle section right next to me here. Um, yeah, so up here I have like our towels and actually we also have some like little Disney um, things. We have like a castle snow globe up there. We have this little crystal thing Tyler had from when he was a kid of a horse. Just little trinkets we picked up here and there that are made of glass. We just think are cute up there. And then we have our towels. These are the actual towels we do use um, like when we shower. I bought them on Hot Look for like 50% off. And then these are our old hand towels that we used before we got the green ones that are nice, but I keep staining them. So I'm gonna try some of your guys' tricks that you've told me about to kind of get those stains out other than bleach. Bleach was not working. <laughs> so looking in here, this is all my skincare. So um, I have way more than what anyone would ever need to use, but that's no surprise. This is kind of part of my job, right? So I have my Clarisonic. I don't use as much as I used to. Um, they, send, they sent me this one and I had my old one for years. Um, I don't know, I just don't use it as much. So I'm kind of thinking about like toying with, maybe I get rid of it. Um, but then I've just got like contact lens solution back here. Oh, I have these reusable little like rounds you can use to apply like toner or essence or remove your makeup. And what's cool, I bought them on Amazon and I'll find the exact link for the exact ones I got, but it also comes with this little wash bag. So as I've used these, these are the ones I've used. I put all of them in there and then I zip it, throw it in the washer and it washes them and so then I can reuse them again and I thought that was so smart. Such a simple way to cut back on our waist and it's easy, I mean that makes it so much easier. So I'll find these exact ones if you wanna see which ones they are. Um, I've got body creams. My favorite right now is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Uh, it's just so good. I have some backups you'll see in a minute that I bought at Costco. But I do enjoy the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty as well. Um, I'm trying out the Confidence in a Neck Cream from It Cosmetics. Really just because I had it in PR, I am enjoying it, but I feel like you could just put your normal moisturizer or face moisturizer down there and do the same. I am enjoying the Ren uh, Ready Set Glow Daily AHA Tonic. That's really nice. Um, some other favorites up here, the CosRx Galactomyces Tone Balancing Essence. This is the one that I swear is a dupe for this SK2. It's cheaper. It is a little bit thicker, but it's the exact same ingredient, you guys. So... Um, but it's the exact same main ingredient, so it's doing this, the same thing that was doing for my skin, just kind of evening things out. I freaking love it. You can buy it at Ulta. Some Drunk Elephant products I'm finishing up trying, because uh, my video is coming up soon that I'm going to be filming about this. And I've tried pretty much all of the products in the Drunk Elephant line over the past year. So I'm excited to share with you guys my thoughts on all of them. Another one from them, their Retinol Cream, I've been trying. I've been doing this once a week. I think I might start doing it twice a week now. But the very first time I used it, I used it too often and I had a lot of peeling, which is normal for stronger retinols, but I'm trying to avoid that by just kind of slowly building it into my, like getting my skin kind of more used to it. I have the number seven line correcting serum I've talked about on my Instagram. I love this stuff. I worked with them a long time ago, but this is almost gone. And I really, I noticed a big difference in my fine lines. My mom's gone through two of these bad boys. She really loves it. Another favorite, the Belief Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. It is kind of a weird gel consistency. I end up putting this on over my uh, moisturizer actually at night. And you're supposed to rinse it off in the morning. I don't, and I feel like my skin loves it. it I've never had a bad reaction from that. 
So I've got my Polish Choice eye cream that I love, um, some other little oils. Um, this, oh, this Ren AHA body serum. I've been using kind of off and on, especially on my legs. Um, I don't know if it's really doing anything or not. I need to use it some more to decide. But yeah, that's kind of a brief overview of everything that's in there. Oh, and I have my post-it. When I'm doing a check-in, like a makeup test, a wear test, I'll stick that on my mirror so before I wash my makeup off at night, I see like, no, Jessica, you need to film a check-in. Don't wash it off yet. <laughs> so in here, I've got most of my hair care. I've got some that are newer to me, like the Kristen S. Dry Shampoo. Um, I love this Diva Curl Wave Maker. It's kind of like a nice cream if you've got wavyish, curlyish hair. I'm really enjoying that. This one I just started using their Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. Another favorite of mine is from Shea Moisture. It's their Detangler. It smells like marshmallows, but it's technically for kids, but I'm telling you guys, it works so well. Um, I actually used this today. This is the Kevin Murphy Shimmer Shine. I bought it at the salon I go to. It literally adds like shimmer to your hair. It's so pretty. Um, this I'm enjoying. It's not my favorite hairspray of all time, the Pantene Air Spray, but I love that it's alcohol free. Um, a little less drying on your hair, but it has a little bit of hold, but it's not nearly as strong as I usually like it to be. So there you go. And a few that I'm still trying out. This is one I wouldn't repurchase the Aveda Volumizing Tonic. It's good, but I, I feel like in my hair care routine, I just don't use it enough. I got some little face wipes here from Kojindo, the cleansing spa water I'm enjoying. Q-tips, more contacts, but these are the ones I'm like actually using now. Oh, I forgot I had these up there and down there. Well, that's kind of dumb. Anyway, I might adjust that. I have my PMD, which is like a personal microdermabrasion. I mean, that's exactly what it is. I still use every week. I know some of you guys were wondering, I do. I think it's making a huge difference in my skin, especially the tone of my skin. I love that. And then we have a little TV up there that's like an old TV we've had for a long time. Tyler mounted it and this is the controller because sometimes I'll watch YouTube while I'm in the shower. It is awesome. <laughs> So then in this middle drawer, this is where I keep all of my like face washcloths. So when I wash my face, um, I actually learned this from my mother-in-law. She uses like a different white washcloth so that she can bleach it um, each night. So then she's not, you know, wiping the same grime from the day before on her face the next night. So I love that. So I've kind of collected random ones over the years. Um, but I recently found this pack on Amazon of the softest ones I've ever used. And now I'm at the point where I think I might donate all of these and just buy a whole bunch of these because I, I literally don't want to use these. These are so much softer. I feel like it's, oh my gosh. Again, I'll find the exact link. But before I give you guys the link, I need to buy a bunch more in case it like sells out. I don't know how many they have in stock. Um, I have a new brush. I'm going to try the Kristen S detangling brush. I think Kathleen Lice is the one that convinced me to try that. And then I have other brushes below that have hair on them and I don't want to show you because that grosses me out. Um, a mirror so I can see the back of my head. Uh, sheet masks here. I did declutter these. Some of my favorite brands are Patchology makes some of my favorite ones, especially their like five minute masks because that's usually all the time I have. Um, but I've got a whole bunch of other ones in there. I've got some Elf ones, some BioBell ones, some Leaders ones. Then I have a speaker because we sometimes listen to music in here, like showering or whatever. And then I also have these Costco makeup wipes. Um, I don't need to buy these again because I really don't use them. I just use them for swatches and now I'm like, well, it's kind of wasteful. So once I go through these, I probably won't buy it again. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Oh, and different Clarisonic heads. Again, they were sent to me and I'm just not using it. I might pass on to a sister. So this bottom drawer, Tyler and I kind of shared. These are like our bathroom backup. So like extra contact solution, those deodorant wipes I love, an extra one of those, toothpaste, 3D white strips, razors, the CeraVe body cream, loofahs, um, there are a couple things in here that actually I don't, that really shouldn't be in here. Like I have the Kristen S hairspray. I keep all of my extra like unopened hair stuff in my office. Um, and then this Pond's cream is for a future video I'm doing. Again, it doesn't really need to be in here, but it just is. Um, yeah. And then we have these cotton rounds that again, I'm, I need to use up or pass on because now that I'm using those other ones, you know, we really don't need these. I'm not gonna show you all of Tyler's area. I feel like, I mean, that's his stuff. If he ever wants to show it, maybe he can, but it's kind of a similar thing. He's got his like toothbrush, toothpaste, his deodorant. He's got he's got all his skincare over here. I always joke that I love when he's like, Jessica, I'm out of eye cream. I'm like, no problem. And then I go to my little skincare stash and pick him out an eye cream. I love doing that. He always giggles because he knows how much I love doing it. But yeah, so he's got his own little skincare routine he's doing and then down below he's got like, kind of the similar stuff, mouthwash and stuff. Now he does keep a lot more than I do, but keeping in mind that I have a lot of my skincare and beauty products in my office. So I have like a different space to store stuff, but 
that's the next area we're tackling when we declutter. So I hope that you enjoyed. If you did want to see like a closet tour, I'd love to share that with you guys. If you'd like to see a perfume collection video where I talk about the like base notes and the scents of these different ones that I have. I have a, like three or four new ones I just added to my collection that I'm really excited about smelling. Ooh, there's a bunch of bumblebees out the window. I hope you're not living in our house. So if you are interested in trying out Lola, like I mentioned, their feminine care products, that code is JessicaB40 for 40% off your subscription. Thank you for sponsoring this video. I will have the link to their site down below as well. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know if you're enjoying some of these extra lifestyle videos I'm doing. I'm really enjoying doing them for you and just sharing more of my life with you guys. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in my next one.